Hello and welcome to another video from Map Business Online. Today we're going to talk a little bit about territory management and some of the common territory management tools that Map Business Online has. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go right to the Map and Data tab, Edit Map Properties button, which brings up a display dialog box of options along the top. And I want to go to the territory options and I'm going to make my territories transparent and I'm going to allow territories to intersect and to have that intersect shown on the map. So where there's overlap in territories, it should show us. You can see I've imported some data. I'm just going to turn that data off and I'm going to import some territories. I'm going to create territories from an Excel spreadsheet that's already been formatted to create a territory. And so I go to uh, a place in my desktop where I've got that information. I bring that in. So it's just an Excel spreadsheet. It's going to geocode by zip code. And you can see down here I've got my zip codes and I've got those named. So there's a name column for my territories. <clears throat> I go next. It brings in all the locations. It creates the territories based on the column you want to uh, assign a name from. So there is my territory name column. And again, it's, it's populating the zip code function. We could do counties, we could do states. Zip codes are a very popular way for people to process automatically their territory creation. We click done and lo and behold, our territories open up. I've got a purple one up here, a red one down here, and an, uh, another red one down here. I think I could make that different, a little bit more differentiated. So I'm going to go into the data window, which is this button right there. I'm going to choose that middle territory. And you can see it's a little purpley and I'm going to make it more blue. And so now we've got three differentiated colors on the territories. So that's a good way to import territories uh, and use that as a method for uh, defining your territories. Another way for you to define territories is the use of a polygon. So we click the polygon search tool up here on the toolbar. It turns green and we simply run it through some of the zip codes that we've got here on the map. And I'm going to go down here and we'll go over like that. And now we create territory four. I'll actually call it uh, West One. And it'll bring up the data window. And now let's look at, uh, we've got uh, a gray sort of a color on that. I'll leave that. We can get rid of the polygon. We no longer need it. So that polygon information is gone. Now you'll notice there's red areas in there. And those red areas are that highlighted intersection where there's overlap between our territories. So now we can either adjust that and provide those zip codes to one territory or another, or we can let them remain. And that's a business decision on your part. But down here, let's, how would we adjust it? We would select that zip code and we would remove it from the territory we do not want it to be a part of. Now let's see what happens when we do that. So now that territory uh, this territory does not, no longer has that particular zip code in it. It just remains in this Northeast South territory, which brings us to another way to get territories. We can import, we can use a polygon to create territories, and we can also click on a zip code, hold down our shift and control key and start to build a territory by just choosing zip codes. And sometimes this is a good way to go for someone who maybe you're sitting there with your sales guy and trying to debate as to why you would have a zip code uh, territory the way you've got it. And you said, well, come on over here, sit down in my chair, and we'll do it together. And, and that'll end the debate. So you select all those zips that you're interested in putting in the territory. You click that blue puzzle piece button and you create new. So we just name it Territory West 2 and we create that territory. So that's a way for you to create territories by clicking them. 
and you'll note that we missed a few and it's simple to just go in again get that shift key control key and shift hold it down and click those till you capture everything that you want to capture in that territory and you add it to that particular territory so there's also a way for you to maintain your territory so once they're established and you need to tweak those zip codes all you need to do is select them and tweak away so another way for you to maintain your territory structure might be to delete the entire territory or maybe delete just a few of them and the way you do that is you go into the data window and when it opens up you click on that two page button with the blue check mark and you choose manage territory under manage territory you can go in and delete any of those territories or you could go in and actually change the name to you know some crazy name you know whatever you want it to be um, and it will change it on the map so there it is the new name of our territory and if you make that disappear you click it a couple times and it comes right back so the uh, the territories are now located on the map you can manage the territories you can make them transparent you can make them non-transparent um, let's see we've got maintenance done oh we want to search data how do I search data on those territories so I'm going to turn on my data set over here lots of data there let's go with a, a little bit more manageable data set I'm gonna go with this ABC customer data set and we need to open the data window because we want to see all of the blue points that are within this New England Middle East Territory. And the way we do that is we target that data set that we're interested in querying. So we highlight in the data window our target data set, and then we go over to the yellow puzzle piece icon, and we choose that data set, the territory area that we're interested in querying. Now we have to name it. So we're going to call it uh, New England Mid East Customers or some such name. Excuse me. And we create that list. Now that list is now a subset. It sits over here underneath our original data set. Now we've got a targeted data set. And on the map, if we're interested in seeing just that data on the map we click filter data on the map and now we see just those items that are within that territory and if we just want to see that particular territory we do something very similar we select that territory and then we click filter data on the map and now we're just looking at that particular territory uh, that's uh, actually overlaps a little bit with another territory and so that's how you can isolate the territories that's pretty much what we wanted to show you today um, I thank you for your time. Please go to Map Business Online um, to take our 30-day free trial. Thank you very much.